This video is brought to you by a better route planner, the route planner for EVs. Hundreds of cars are supported, choose your configuration, plan your route with the charging network that you want to prefer or charging networks that you want to avoid. If you're a premium member, you can use real-time weather forecast and traffic information and you can also use a better route planner in your car with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Use the link in the description to support the channel and use a better route planner premium for 30 days for free. Hello everyone, this is the Polestar 3 all-wheel drive uh, performance. <laughs> we have all-wheel drive 517 horsepower, 380 kilowatt, has a 107 kilowatt hour usable energy battery and today I'm going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. You can uh, see that as a, a test if you want to drive a bit of highway in a bit of country road or if you want to drive 110 uh, on, the, on the highway. Some people do that or if you drive 120 you can just get in between between my 130 and my 110 test this car has 20 inch summer tires on gigantic ones 295 in the rear and 265 in the front pilot sport um, i'm charging here doing charging test to 80 percent and then uh, we go let's see how far it can go What is it? Doesn't work. I'm on my way again, driving now 113 on this beautiful head-up display or on this nice cockpit. I have my AC on 22 degrees, it's 24 degrees outside and I started with 79% because there's a problem. <laughs> so this is your phone charger, wireless phone charging. I have my phone there because this is a cup holder and underneath I needed the phone to look at it a few times. And this is the card that Polestar gave me to drive this car. And to start the car you have to put it here. So I left it there and I thought when I put my phone on it it's not gonna uh, he, uh, wirelessly charge the phone. But it did and now the card has a bump and the card doesn't work anymore. I cannot start the car with the card anymore and since I have this car I tried to use the digital key on the phone and it never worked and now it worked <laughs> so I was panicking oh my god what do I do and then I tried the digital key again it connected right away and I could lock unlock the car and the car notices the phone and says it's okay you can drive so whew. <laughs> but I'm a bit stressed I don't think I will get out of the car when we're done I'm gonna uh, yes <laughs> just go home and freak out I used 10% of the battery and drove 45 something kilometers, so above 450 kilometers calculated range. But of course, this is not very accurate right now. Consumption 228 watt hours per kilometer. Um, I will drive, of course, further. I want to drive to at least 
uh, down to 20% or something. We'll see how far it can go. I used 25% of my battery and drove 119 kilometers. Kilometers? That's 476 kilometers, I think. Uh, average consumption 220. Uh, yes. And of course, I forgot to mention that before, I'm driving in range mode. So the front motor is detached from the drivetrain. So the most efficient, and I never floor it so that it detaches, uh, that it. No, not detach. The other opposite of detach <laughs> engages and then I have all wheel drive. So the front motor is disconnected. I just turned around, navigated back to the charger. It says 50 minutes for 93 kilometers. That book could be good with 110. Maybe it's right. And it says I will arrive with 12%. We'll see. Um, yeah, I still haven't stopped the car because I'm scared that the digital key won't work again because I think it worked before and then it didn't work anymore but I could never lock and this time I could lock and unlock with the phone so I have a bit more hope but I'm scared to put the car in park <laughs> because I don't know if I can put it in drive again so I will make the I will drive home, park it in a way that it's not in the way, and then see <laughs> if it works. Yes. I used 50% of my battery, drove 244 kilometers. So full range of 488 kilometers. Consumption is still around the 220 mark. And I have uh, 59 kilometers to go. So if I can pass this one here, and people driving close to other cars, I am okay. I arrived with 17%, drove 304.3 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 306 kilometers, consumption 218 watt hours per kilometer. I'm not getting out of the car, After still, the car is still in D, I'm scared to put it in reverse, <laughs> but I will see, and I have to pee like crazy. So uh, I calculated the range and it's 487, what was it? 485 kilometers of range in these conditions. I had to uh, speed up a bit to pass cars a lot as most of the times when I do my 110 kilometers an hour range test because that's just how it is. Everyone is driving 130 and, and it's dangerous if I drive by another car two kilometers an hour faster. So I sped up. But nice, nice. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.